Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of my ORF tutorial series. Topic of this video is wallpaper management, since that happens to be the step which dictates direction of my rising process. And it is also kind of first thing I do whenever I'm faced with a blank screen. I made a brief guide for this tutorial in order to stick to the point as much as possible. Ok, let's start with config. The only relevant section is wallpaper section, which happens to be located at the bottom of the file, and since I want you to see changes as they happen in the real time, I'll use watch command, but just on that specific portion of the file. So this is how config file would look like right after orb generates it, and as we can see, it consists of just a few entries. First one is depth, and as you can guess, it's used to constrain depth if selected directory contains subdirectories, and its value 0 means there is no constraint applied and all files will be available. Directory is probably the most important one, since it's basically source of all available wallpapers. And finally, desktops just refer to workspaces, and to the right of each, you can see two placeholders, and that's because I'm currently recording this using laptop, which is connected to the external monitor, so it detects two displays. And that's really all you need to know about config file regarding wallpapers. So let's move to the directories. This can be done in more than just one way, but I'll start with command line since it's foundation on which other approaches are based as well. So let me show you how I structured my wallpapers. As you can see, I separated them into few categories, just so I can organize them easier. My real wallpaper collection is of course much bigger, this is basically just a sample for demonstration purpose. So to set directory from the command line, we need to provide it as an argument to the lowercase d flag. And let's choose nature. As you can see above, wallpaper directory is now set. But what if you'd like to use more than just one directory? Well, I find other features more convenient when it comes to dealing with multiple directories, so I will do it using Rofi and VIFM. Let's start with Rofi. And let me move terminal so you can still see changes in config file. Now let me navigate to my wallpapers directory and enable selection. And now I just need to set them as wallpaper directory. We can see directory now contains both subdirectories. We can also add or remove directories, but let me show you that using VIFM. Now let's say I want to add macro directory. All I need to do is press A, W and D, which is abbreviation for add wallpaper directory. And as you can see, macro has been added. In order to remove directories, we press R, W and D, which stands for, you guessed it, remove wallpaper directory. And now you see nature and urban subdirectories has been removed. There is also an easier way to do this using Rofi, 
but this will only work if all subdirectories are contained in the same root. To open this menu, we need to open wallpapers menu first by pressing Alt and S and then shift it using Alt and right arrow key. Now we see all wallpapers subdirectories and we can see macro is already selected. From here we can simply toggle their state. And that's about it when it comes to directories. Now let me show you how to see their content. There are also a few different ways to view content of said directory. To do this from the command line we need to use lowercase v flag. We can see content of mono directory since it's the only directory set at the moment. This will work for multiple directories as well, so let's add another one. And since I'm already in Rofi, let me also use it to view wallpapers. And we can see wallpapers from both directories. We can also do this using bar launcher, but we would need running instance of some bar with launcher's module. So let me open one. I need to add wallctl launcher since it's currently not present. You can see wallctl launcher appeared on the right and we can launch viewer with middle click. And that's it. Those were a few ways of viewing content of set directory. Now let's move to the fun part, setting wallpapers. This comes without saying, but wallpapers can also be set in multiple ways. As usually, let's start with command line, but before we start, let me take care of a few things first. Let me open viewer just so you can see images of wallpapers I am about to work with along with their file names. Let me also resize terminal since file names can be quite long. And let me also clear the pane. Ok, all set. So to set wallpaper we need to provide it as an argument to lowercase s flag. We can see wallpaper file name in viewer status bar, so let's try to set first one. And first desktop entry now has file names instead of placeholders. You can see that previous command set same wallpaper to both displays and that's because I provided just a single argument. To set different wallpapers we need to specify one wallpaper for each display we want to affect. So let me just append another file to previous command and watch what happens. You can see that wallpaper on second display has changed. We can do the same using Rofi menu, let me show you. And again you can see two different wallpapers. Same can be done using VIFM like I did with directories, only this time corresponding keys would be S and W for set wallpaper. But what if you'd like to change wallpaper only on one specific display? That can also be done using lowercase n flag.
you can see that the just second wallpaper has changed. The most convenient way to set wallpapers is probably still using a viewer though, since we have all disposable wallpapers in one place and we can also see image of each wallpaper. To set same wallpaper across all displays, press Ctrl, X and S. We can also do it for separate displays and the advantage of this approach over Rofi or VIFM is that they both are constrained to operate within a single directory while viewer has access to all wallpapers at the same time. To specify display, press Ctrl X and press number of the display, just like the number you to provide to the end flag. We can see changes occurred accordingly. We can also change wallpapers on specific workspace. So since I'm currently on the first workspace, let me change it on the third. To specify workspace, we use lowercase w flag. And let me use index to set 8 wallpaper. Now pay attention to the config file and see how wallpapers on third workspace are being set. Or if you want just a specific display, you can do this. Now let's go to the third workspace and see what happens. Wallpaper is still the same, and that's because I haven't restored it yet. We can do this using Rofi Wallpapers menu by selecting Restore. Now we see wallpaper we expected. We can also do this in a single step while changing workspaces using Rofi Wall menu or using Bar Workspace Indicator. So let me use Bar and let me just click on the first workspace. Now we can see wallpaper restored automatically. And last but not least, the feature to change wallpapers automatically. We can enable this feature from the command line using uppercase A flag. If we don't specify state, it will just toggle current one. And to change the interval or order, we can use uppercase I and O respectively. So let me set it to some really small value. This will set it to change every 5 seconds. And let me also make it set the wallpapers in reverse order. We can also toggle it using wallpapers menu. And you can see wallpapers stop changing. I forgot to mention we can also set wallpapers using wallpapers menu and select option. We can see an indicator showing currently set wallpaper. All of those functionalities can be found in right-click menu as well under Walls menu. There is also feature to browse and download wallpapers from Unsplash and Wallhaven and if you'd like me to cover that as well, let me know down in the comments. And that would be all for this episode. Hope you find this approach of managing wallpapers useful and if you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to comment below.
any feedback would be highly appreciated. See you in the next video.